Hi everyone, today we're going to read a Peppa Pig book called Peppa's Dragon Adventure. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find hundreds of Peppa Pig books in my collection. So do check out my channel and the ones who are subscribing currently, thank you for subscribing and do continue viewing my videos. Let's begin. Peppa's Dragon Adventure. It was night time and Pepper and George were ready for bed. Pepper climbed a ladder up to her bunk bed, but George wouldn't get into his. What's the matter, George? asked Daddy Pig. Don't you want to go to bed? George shook his head. George doesn't want to have a bad dream, explained Pepper, so he doesn't want to go to bed. I'm sure we can fix that with a good bedtime story, said Daddy Pig. Snuggle down and I'll begin. Once upon a time, there was a grand castle high up in the sky. It was home to a very special family. Queen Mummy, King Daddy, Princess Pepper, and Prince George. That's us, Pepper whispered to George. George giggled, hee hee. The family did lots of important things together, said Daddy Pig. Didn't they, Mummy Pig? Oh yes, said Mummy Pig. Important things like sitting on their comfy thrones eating delicious food and reading bedtime stories in their cosy royal beds and playing hide and seek said Peppa. Yes and playing hide and seek agreed Mummy Pig. One day when they were playing a game of hide and seek continued Mummy Pig Prince George spotted something sparkle. It was an egg said Daddy Pig a giant golden egg. Prince George thought it was a chocolate egg wrapped in golden foil. Yummy, cried Prince George, going to take a bite. Clunk. It wasn't chocolate, it was made of real gold. Suddenly, said Mummy Pig, Prince George heard Princess Pepper singing. I'm coming to find you, Prince George. When Princess Pepper found him, he showed her the golden egg. Ooh, how fancy, she said. Prince George showed it to the king and queen and king. Ooh, how fancy, they said. Queen Mummy put the egg where everyone could see it. Thank you, Prince George, she said. Doesn't it look lovely? Great ending, Mummy Pig, said Daddy Pig. Are you going to bed now, George? No, said George, shaking his head. I know, said Peppa. I'll do a bit more story. The next day, began Peppa. The family saw that the giant golden egg had hatched. Oh no, everyone cried. So the family went on a hunt for dinosaur. Brrr, cheered George. Hee hee, funny George, it wasn't a dinosaur, said Peppa. The family searched the whole castle but couldn't find anything. Princess Peppa had an idea. Let's look in the garden. The prince and princess ran outside where they spotted a line of huge footprints on the royal lawn. Follow that trail, cried Princess Pepper. They followed the footprints into the forest, continued Pepper, where they discovered a huge dragon with massive wings. The dragon picked up the prince and the princess, put them on her back and took them on a magical flight. They soared over mountains and flew higher than the clouds until it was finally time for the dragon to deliver them to their royal beds. The end, said Peppa. Now, are you ready to go to bed, George? asked Peppa. Yes, said George. I'm sure after all that adventure you'll have lovely dreams, said Mummy Pig. And if anything happens in your dream that you don't like, George, said Peppa, I will come riding on in on our dragon and save you. Yay, dragon, cheered George. Pepper and George soon fell fast asleep. George dreamed he was riding a magnificent dragon and flying high above the clouds with Pepper. It was the best dream ever. Then the next morning, George woke up excited. Dragon, he shouted. Pepper told Mummy and Daddy Pig that George loved the dragon story so much he wanted to find a real dragon. That's lovely, George, said Mummy Pig, but dragons aren't real, I'm afraid. Some are real, aren't they, Mummy? asked Pepper. Before Mummy Pig could answer, there was a flash of something green outside the kitchen window. 
Drag on, cheered George. Really, said Daddy Pig. Looking up, George nodded. Right, well, maybe we should go and check, said Daddy Pig. Hooray, cheered Pepper. Another dragon hunt. Pepper, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig headed off in search of, a, of the dragon. They soon spotted some tracks in the forest. Follow that trail, cried Pepper. The tracks led all the way to a castle. Dragon, cheered George, looking up and seeing Miss Rabbit on top of a huge robot dragon. Oh my, it is a dragon, said Mummy Pig. This is my robot dragon, Miss Rabbit shouted down. Sometimes I use it as part of the tour at the castle. Would you like to give it a go? No, thank you. No, thank you, Daddy Pig shouted up. He was a little bit scared of heights. Yes, please, cheered Pepper and George. Miss Rabbit gave Pepper and George a ride on the robot dragon. They were so high their heads were up in the clouds. George, cried Pepper, isn't riding a dragon magical? Just like our story. Yay, cried George. Dragon, yay. After the ride was over, Miss Rabbit gave Pepper and George toy dragons from the souvenir shop to take home. Dragon, roar, said George happily. That night, Pepper and George cuddled their, their toy dragons in bed they, and they both fell fast asleep, even before Mummy and Daddy Pig could finish their bedtime story. I'm sure after the dragon adventure, they'll sleep really well, said Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love dragons. Everyone loves dragons. The end. Hope you enjoyed that. That was... Pepper's Dragon Adventure. Subscribe to my channel, press that red button below and follow me where you'll find even more Peppa Pig books in my collection. I also have Hey Dougie books and Bluey books and so much more. So do check them out now. Bye bye.